Hello, my name is Stephen Holm and I am with Home Grounds, a place that you can go to learn more about brewing and enjoying better quality coffee right at home. But today we are talking about Joe Rogan. If you're not familiar with who Joe Rogan is, he is a comedian, actor, podcast host, but probably most importantly, he is the cousin of Gerard Way, the lead vocalist of My Chemical Romance. Now, a couple weeks ago, the Joe Rogan podcast released an article titled, What is Joe Rogan Drinking on the JRE Podcast? Which mentions a few different coffee-related products. And being a self-proclaimed coffee expert, I figured I should probably try them. So, that's what we're doing here today. Now, before I get started, I just want to say that we at Home Grounds paid for these all ourselves so we can give our honest opinion on these products. Just like Joe, who was stated in the article, as having gone out of his way to say that he hasn't been paid to promote these brands, he just really likes them. So let's get to tasting Joe Rogan's favorite coffees. First up, we have the Nitro Cold Brew Coffee from Caveman Coffee Co. This can states that it has over 200 milligrams of caffeine, which is about one and a half times the amount that you would find in a brewed coffee, which is pretty typical for cold brew coffees. On their website, they say that this is a blend of premium South American coffees cold brew for 12 plus hours. This says to shake it a couple times and then pour it out. So let's give it a try. So as you can see, it looks pretty good. It has a nice head on the top. Nothing left to do, but give it a taste. It's not bad. I don't know if I would say that it's good, but it's not bad. It seems like what they have chosen to done here is under extracted a little bit, so it's actually kind of underwhelming with the taste. It almost just tastes like slightly coffee flavored water, which is fine for me because there's a lot of bad coffee out there that I really don't enjoy drinking, which will probably see here pretty soon. But the texture is nice with that nitrogen. I can see why people would like this. It's pretty smooth. It's really easy to drink. And if it has 200 milligrams of caffeine, I'm sure it's gonna wake you up pretty well. I think these are a little expensive at like $3 a can, but I think you can buy them bulk and save some money. So first one that we've tasted today, not bad. I have a lot more caffeine to drink, so I am not going to finish this. All right, next up we have Coffee from Black Rifle Coffee Company. This is their CAF blend or caffeinated AF. Now, Black Rifle Coffee Company is owned and operated by American veterans. So first off, thank you for your service. This coffee in particular says that it has a high caffeine punch with a rich smoky flavor, which I was a little weary about because any coffees that claim that they have an extra amount of caffeine are typically coffee robusta versus coffee arabica. You've probably seen 100% arabica slapped onto some coffee bags. Basically, arabica and robusta are coffee species. Robusta is easier to grow. It's more weather and pest resistant. However, it just doesn't taste as good as Arabica. So I did a little digging on their website and chatted with one of their customer service reps and found out that this coffee is in fact not 100% Arabica. They didn't say Robusta, but I can only assume that it is a blend of a Colombian Robusta and they said Colombian something else. So this coffee does have Robusta, so I have very low expectations for it, but I guess we only have to brew it and find out. All right, here we go. Let me just say that I have brewed a lot of bad coffee over the years, but this smells not just like bad over roasted coffee smells. There's like, there's something else going on. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. It tastes like carbon and charcoal and it's really leathery super bitter no acidity whatsoever there is nothing pleasant about this coffee for me it does remind me a bit of what i would get at a gas station so i think the only way that we could maybe make this drinkable is by using our third coffee product 
Laird Superfood Turmeric Creamer. So this is a powder-based creamer that is gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, dairy-free. Pretty good ingredients. Uh, looking at Laird's website, it looks like they just make a lot of these superfood powders that you would use to throw in coffee or like a protein shake sort of thing. And this turmeric flavor, Joe Rogan says that it's so delicious he's addicted to it. So let's see if it makes this coffee any better. So looking in here, it's very yellow. Wow, it actually smells really good. We're just gonna follow the instructions that are on the back here. It says, for best taste, add one tablespoon to eight ounces of hot coffee or tea, then froth or shake in a reusable bottle. Um... Oh yeah. And let's give that a shot. Oh. It's definitely better. The coconut milk powder takes away some of that bitterness from that coffee. I could get through this whole cup, maybe. I won't. I don't think I particularly like the flavor combination of the turmeric and coffee. It kind of feels like they're fighting one another on my palate. But this superfood creamer has a lot of other uses. You can make a really easy golden milk by just adding this in hot water which I'm sure that would be really good. I don't think I will be putting it in any coffee going forward, but maybe just at the end of the day, mixing this with some hot water and having it sort of like a tea. I feel like I could do that. Okay, last but certainly not least, we have mushroom coffee. So this is by Four Sigmatic. This particular one is the mushroom ground coffee with lion's mane. It is Joe's favorite, so it's gonna be our favorite. This coffee has two different types of mushrooms in there. There is chaga mushrooms and lion's mane mushrooms. They say on their website that chaga supports immune functions and lion's mane is your best friend when you wanna get stuff done. So it has cognitive enhancing properties. I've never really tried any foods like this that have these special mushrooms in there. They are not hallucinogenic. Interestingly enough, this coffee actually has the most traceability out of any of the ones that we've tried today. Right on here, it says, these coffee beans were sustainably and fairly grown in Southwest Honduras. So that's nice to see on a coffee bag even though it has mushrooms in it. So on their website, they claim that this coffee doesn't taste anything like mushrooms. I would sure hope not. This coffee, unfortunately, is also pre-ground, but I think they only sell it pre-ground because it has to be combined with the mushrooms. It doesn't really smell like mushrooms. It kind of just smells like old coffee. All right, let's get brewing this thing. All right, so it's brewed. There is something like sort of earthy about it. And a lot of coffees can have earthy characteristics. That's not necessarily a bad thing. But given that this is mushroom coffee, I'm wondering if that earthiness is coming from the mushrooms or the coffee? I don't know. While this is cooling down, I also just realized this coffee says that it's a dark roast, so that's fine. But this Black Rifle coffee says that it's a medium roast. Just look at these two coffees side by side. Now, there's no like official legal designation for what a medium or a dark roast or a light roast is, but this is not a medium roast, and it makes me scared of what their dark roast is. And I'm pretty sure on their website, they even have an extra dark roast. Yeah, this is not a medium roast. Anyways, back to the mushroom coffee. Kind of just tastes like a dark roast coffee. I really don't taste anything odd about it. It smells a little earthy, but I think that's just the coffee. If you like dark roast, I don't see anything wrong with this coffee. Not bad. And I also just noticed that on the side of this coffee, it says fair trade, single origin, and Arabica. So I would say that if you like dark roast coffee, you're not super particular about how it tastes. You just sort of want your dark roast in the morning. And you happen to be thinking lately about how your diet is lacking in mushrooms, then this is a pretty good option for you. Good job, Four Sigmatic. 
In fact, I think if I take the power of mushrooms and combine it with the power of the superfood turmeric creamer, this could, I don't know, I don't know what would happen. Let's give this a shot. I'm gonna try pouring it into here and shaking it. Yeah. Ooh, and that's nice. It tastes better than the last one because we started with a better coffee. I am still not totally in love with this turmeric and coffee thing, but it's not bad. I think this combination is deadly. Hopefully there are no literal side effects to having mushroom coffee with turmeric superfood powder. All right, and those are all of the coffee related items that Joe Rogan drinks on his podcast. If you are looking for nitro cold brew, this is fine, but pretty weak. Don't get this coffee. Laird Superfood Creamer with turmeric. Uh, it's good, I don't love it in coffee, but I will use it for other things. And thank you, Joe Rogan, for introducing me to the power of mushroom coffee. I probably won't drink that either. But thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel if you're new around here. And as always, happy brewing.